Hello, everyone. I'm going to do my Disney VHS question today, but I'm going to do my current shows only. So, yeah, I'm going to try to go quick. Um, first one I have, this is the Mexican Spanish VHS of one of my donations. This one is pretty rare to find around this area. I found this at the local Value Village. It's a tape. Alright, start now I'm starting with the Black Diamond editions. And I have it in acrobatable order. July 18th to July 19th, not July free. Put it on my mom's birthday that year on the 19th. This one is in horrible shape. This one is Bambi. And I forgot to mention that last tape was Aladdin. Mm. This one has a print date, but I cannot tell. Looks like a 1989 tape, but I can't really tell the print date. Hmm, this one fell off. Might as well just put it in the crunch shell. Beauty and the Beast. I did just do the special edition of this tape, I mean, the, of the tape, um, a few days ago, which I am going to show later on in the video. Today, October 27th, that's I too. Got rid of my childhood copy and kept this one, because it was better condition. Cinderella. Oh, this one does have a print date, but it's really hard to tell. Um, looks like a 1990 tape, but. I don't know what the party is. One on one dimensions. I do hope to get the masterpiece edition of this when I get a chance. And it is a little common to find, so it won't be too hard to find a store. store. February 19th, 1992. The Jungle Book. Yeah, this is my um, childhood copy. Print is faded, but it is February, February of something 1991. It's like literally faded. Oh, it's February 28th, 1991. Uh, sorry for screw up there. It, it's the print got really faded.
This is also my childhood copy. And I used to have the masterpiece edition of this as well. But it was at my other house. But we donated that one a long time ago. Purple e label on this one. Uh, the print date is February 24th, 1990, I believe. Robin Hood, this is also my, um, I don't remember, I remember owning this tape, but I think my old copy was a Masterpiece Collection, or an edition. But I think, I don't remember this one came from my grandmother's house, or it was given, but yeah. But here's a tape. Print date is, uh... May, I think it is May 6th, 1991, but it's really faded. Peter Pan. I don't have the masterpiece yet, but I used to have it growing up, but I don't have any more. But this one is also my childhood copy. I got that one from my other grandma's house. Uh, print date is April 16th, 1990. Alright, that's it for my um, Black Diamond Edition. Now to the Masterpiece. Cinderella. Which I used to have a copy of this going up, but we donated it. But this is my second copy, or pretty much third copy now. I have a VHS. June 28th, 1998. I mean, 1995. Sorry. This one does have interest in it, but I'm going to go show it today. Here's one of my childhood copies that I still had. This is the Masterpiece Fantasia. I have like two copies of this at one point and I donated one of them to um, Volume Village because I didn't want to have two copies. October 2nd, 1991. It's the 30th anniversary of the Jungle Book Masterpiece Collection. The collection was in horrible shape, but I got this for, uh... I got this because I didn't have it in my collection yet, and it was like 25 cents to get. So yeah, I went ahead and got it. August 8th, 1997. I might replace the clan show if I can find any clan shells. So yeah. Laying Tramp, I used to have this as well, but this is my second copy now. And the clan show is in very weird shape. It was like it got squished in the wrong angle. But yeah, I also got this from the, for 25 cents at the resource store. So that way I got it because I didn't have it in my question yet. August 28, 1998. Two different copies of The Lion King. Um, this is my childhood copy. Number, I mean, December 13th, 1994. Here's my second copy. I got this one for Slackers, and yeah, and this is why I picked it up, it's a white stick label copy, January 12th, 1995, I'm not too sure this means that it's a recycled tape or not, but 
Oh no, I'm not gonna mess with this thick way board until I know. The main events are the Winnie the Pooh. So I also got this from the resale store. March 29th, 1996. And the Crash was also in bad condition. But at least still useful. So yeah. Alright, uh, this is a recent one I picked up. This is Mulan. Which, this is a good movie. Not gonna lie, I do want to get the special edition and move on to on VHS. February 4th, 1999. I honestly forgot if I actually got this tape three weeks ago. Tokyo. This is another one of my childhood copies. And I forgot to mention, I used to have one on VHS as well, but I don't have any more. But this is my second copy now. But this one's my childhood copy. And it's in very horrible shape. But at least the crash is so useful. Uh, two print dates January 23rd and January 24th, 1993. Is it not doing? Yeah, it's not time free. Pocahontas. Another copy I used to have. And this is a replacement. This is a good condition. Um, actually, this tape was given as a graduation gift from some friends of mine. So, yeah. January 3rd, not time set. Sleepy Beauty. This one, I'm, this one I know I got for Grandma. And it's a good condition. July 21st, 1997. Snowboy and the Seven Dwarfs. Used to have this as a kid as well. And I believe I... Got this for Grandma as well. June fourth, nineteen ninety four. Bed and Boonstits. Oh, by the way, this is the last of a masterpiece. Now getting to the regular Disney and um, Walt Disney stuff. September 4th, 1991. Peace Dragon. This is my childhood copy. Verbal stick label. I had to take this up because it was coming off. May 23rd, 1991. I need to clean this off. When I get a chance. Alright, now to the one and only February film question. Um, Escape to Wish Mountain. I, I'm only collecting the family phone questions. I don't care for anything else, so yeah. It's a reprint because it has blue lid. May 5th, 2003. Now to the gold classic questions. Here's my first one I ever owned. 
as you know, my first ever um, gold classic question I had was Toy Story, the special edition. I don't have that tape anymore, but I do have it back in my question now. But here's a, the, a Buzz Life. This is a Canadian copy. Cost number is 64 out of 120. I had to say for three years. I was in a Wonderland. I don't have the what Diamond or Masterpiece question of this yet. April 3rd, 2002. The Astro Cats. I did not, I used to have uh, the Masterpiece question of this, but I don't have any more, but I do have the Gold Classic question. May 6, 2003. Boston Hound. April 11th, 2000. Oh yeah, this tape is a suck of a Toy Story. The not deny this film. Or tape. Make my music. May night two thousand. As you can see, this tape was a second for the Buzz Life. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, Mickey's was upon Christmas. September 28, 2000. This tape was like this when I got it. It was in a brown clan shell when I got it from my local trust store. So yeah, it was switched out when I got it. Podcast to Journey to the New World. April 3rd, 2002. Robin Hood, this is a recent one I got. November 19, 2000. This tape is a second for the masterpiece VHS of Fantasia. Which is pretty interesting. Here's the Gold Classic Special Edition Toy Story. And this is the last Gold Classic question I'm going to show. December 15th, 1999. This is a early print. I believe. Okay, that's it for the Gold Classic question. Now to the actual Walt Disney home video. Airbud Golden Receiver. I got two copies. White Stick Label copy. November 12th, 1998. That's 
my second copy. November 12th and November 25th, 2002. So yeah, this is a reprint, unfortunately. Airbus Evelyn Fetch. I stress to tape out this one for my overcopy. Black Reels. November 8th, 2004. Two months before it was the 2005. So yeah, that's why I showed this in my 2005 collection. American Legends. April 18th, 2002. Atlantis Miles, I mean, Atlantis The Lost Empire. November 22nd, 2001. Platinum Special Edition of Beauty and the Beast. I did watch this tape the other day, and I did the opening question to this. August 23rd, 2002. Special Edition of Beauty and the Beast, Chapter Happy Christmas. Tape, October 11th, 2002. This tape is a cycle for Pearl Harbor. And let me see real quick. Yeah, I can tell what part of the tape is. I forgot to mention, um, special edition of Beauty and the Beast. Also have a clip of the Chant of Christmas at the, after the end credits. So yeah, when I watched the tape, I didn't know I had that. So yeah. The Big Green, this is my childhood copy. Had to stay for a very long time. Got for Grandma's house as well. This is preferred 1995. Biscuit Eater, a tape, a, a movie I never heard of, but I found that's the Smackers, and it was a 2002 VHS, so I decided to get it. It's in very good condition, too. August 26, 2002. The Booker Pooh. This is the only Playhouse Disney tape I have at the moment. Hope to get more. Um, yep. May 17, 2001. Oh, I must have stuck away well. Yeah, this tape was a sucker from I'll Be Home for Christmas. Brother Bear. This was an eBay purchase. And then after that, it got a little comment on Savers. So, whatever. At least I know it's common now after I bought it from eBay. But yeah. I would go to Tristos first before buying on eBay because it might buy it for a dollar. February 27, 2004. I found a Canadian copy of this at Savers one time, but I didn't pick it up. I wish I did, though. But so I did a Commander Starkman. June 21st, 2000.
Cinemar 2, Dreams Come True. Canadian copy. Car is 799 out of 800. Confessions of the Teenage Drama Queen. I enjoyed this movie. Purchase for play again, I believe. So yeah. May 17, 2004. Cool Ryan. I found a 2002 reprint of this, but I didn't pick it up. So yeah. I had to stay for three years. The purpose is 1994. I remember watching this movie in um in my classroom back in freshman year. I don't remember what class it was. And it was not an easy class, but I did watch that movie in that class. Um one on one Dominations Two Pass the Sloan Adventure. March first, two thousand three. One on one Dalmatians, the live action. Um, I this is my childhood copy, and the case is not in best condition. March 14, 1997. One on two Dalmatians. January 25th, 2001. Dinosaurs. This was an SD movie. December 9th, 2000. My sister has a DVD copy of this. Thus, first movie. And even though Nick Wayan ha had to take, had to, to serious, but now Disney owns it. July 29th, 1999. I have not watched this tape, but I do want to watch it. Hopefully, I don't, hopefully, I remember to watch it. The Empire's New Groove. I had to stay for three years. This is a reprint. June 4th and June 30th, 2003. And um, I believe this one got the 2003 content. And I actually did the opening to this video. And it's got update previews as far as I know. Fantasia 2000. I see if it's actually completely sold when I got it, but the question is not in the best condition anymore. Because I had the stuff in the box. July 24th, 2000. Um, I will try to pronounce this. The Hutch back the door damn to I believe I pressed it right I do remember watching the first one um at daycare center I think I'm not too sure but I certainly never owned this on own these movies before February 5th 2002 Got this one for Cook County. Ah. Uh. 
I don't think I can tell what that shape is from. I think I messed it up. So I can't really tell what the shape is sucker from. Got three different versions of Finding Nemo because this is my most favorite movie growing up and it still is to this day. So I I got a lot of backups. Uh, here's my childhood copy, which is sadly damaged because it got eaten up my uncle's VCR player because if his VCR player is messing up. So I got in, now it's damaged. It's a tape. September 6th, 2003. Here's my second copy. Reason why I got this, because I really want a copy of a Black Rural, so yeah. Wish. I got this tape from the Volume Village three years ago. September 11th, 2003. This is my third copy. This one I actually got from eBay. Don't ask me why. I just, yeah. I basically just got another copy just because this one has a black lid and black rails. I just want to have different versions. January 9th, 2004. And even if it has a black lid, this is a 2004 reprint. And this one, this one is in very good condition according to my other two tapes. This one is damaged, this one is kind of blurry for some reason, and this one works really good. So yeah. And I got two different copies of Freaky Friday. I do kind of like this movie. Uh, here's the first, my first copy. It's a tape. November 6th, 2003. Second copy. This one has black rules. But the printed in November 5th, 2003, printed a day apart. I know there was no reason to get another copy, I just got it because they have black rules. I like buying tests with black rules, so yeah. Here's a recent one I got. Gordy. I think I, I think I used to have this tape as well, but I don't think I ever watched it. February 1st, not I sit. Holes. I remember watching this as a child, but I never owned it on VHS until now. But I knew someone who had it on DVD. That was when I first watched it, and they also put it on TV for quite a long time. August 23rd, 2003. I had to say for, for three years. Home in the Range. Took me a while to get this tape. I was about to get it on eBay, but hope, luckily I found it at the Arcree store. But for a buck. Two but two dollars fifty. Um, August seventeenth, two thousand four. Two different copies of Home of, I mean Home Homer Bell Two, Los San Francisco. This one was given to me. As a present. June 7th, 1996.
Here's my first copy. This is my childhood copy. Blue went on this one. November 8th and December 10th, 2002. Here's the light version of Expect the Gadgets. November 1st, 1999. Spent the Gadget 2 sequel. I heard this one was not as good. So, yeah. February 14th, 2003. Can't really tell what this type of sucker from. I had to stay for three years. Special edition Jason to Jai Beach. July 15th, 2001. The Journey and Any Gain. This is a reprint. Black Reels. March 26th, 2004. To Toggle Book 2, another sequel. May 14th, 2003. Oh yeah, this same is sucker for David Crockett. But I think this will have multiple films, so I don't know which one. Um, Laying a Threat to Scratch Adventure. Review really Yellow Wheels on this one. January 22nd, 2001. Oh yeah, I don't know what this type of sucker from. It's obviously a sucker from like a Black Diamond Edition, so it might, it might have been, even though it was a sucker, it probably didn't have ink label to see what it was a sucker from. So, that's my best guess. Except for this roll. Alright. Leo Stitch. One of my favorite anime movies I have. November 6th, 2002. I found a Hollywood home video exclusive of this and a Black Clan show. One time, I thought it was pretty cool. Fine. Uh, Platinum and Special Edition of The Lion King. August 7th, 2003. And, yep, this tape is a sucker for Mars and Zinc. Two different copies of The Lion King to Summer's Pride. September 22nd, 1998. There's a special edition. July 23rd, 2004. They say it's like a balloon farm. 
I believe this is like a, a, a Winnie the Pooh TV show series or something, but I'm not too sure. The Lion King one and a half. I was so glad to find this tape. So yeah. December 30th, 2003. This is a, a early print. Even though this is a 2004 VHS. Yeah, 2004 release. Two different copies of the Lizzie McGuire movie. Here's my first copy. July 16th, 2003. I have not watched this movie yet, or even on tape. I think I've ever watched it. I saw Disney Channel quite some time ago. That's my second copy. It's contains the same content, and this time it has black reels. November 1st, 2003. Lizzie the McGuire growing up Lizzie. Volume 2, four episodes from the Hit Disney Channel series. I can probably look at this tape. This tape is kind of hard to find. I actually found this at my local Volume Village. So, yeah. November 13, 2003. The Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea. June 22nd, 2000. I believe this is a reprint. Because I think this tape was actually released in 1998. So, I think this is a reprint. But, I heard that cover down below. Mickey House of Mouse Villains. Also have this on DVD. August 16th, 2002. And this tape was a cycle from Fantasia 2000. Make it Donald Goofy to Free Musketeers. June 22nd, 2004. This tape is a second for the Reaper of the, of the Rescuers. Mickey's Twice Upon Christmas. October 13, 2004. This tape was a sacrifice Santa Rita to Dreams Come True. Which a lot of people hate that movie. Money Dust 2. August 4th, 1994. This is my childhood copy. This is also my childhood copy. My new dust free. December 7th, 1996. Monsters Inc. One of my favorite VHS tastes all time. August 2nd, 2002. I also watched this tape the other day. Or the other night. Muppet Treasure Island.
August 2nd, 1996. The Don Paper for Christmas. Good classic. Joy 29, not type 4. I like to watch this movie around Halloween, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So, yeah. This one is the Walt Disney question of Old Yeller. This one was probably so I got it, but it was still used. August 1st, 2002. Is there an original version of the Parent Trap Walt Disney question? Because I did just recently got this one. October 22nd, 2002. Is a uh the Parent Trap, not to nice this film. I do like this one. November 25th, 1998. Uh, special with this repair band. January 15, 2002. This is the second for Tarzan. Seiko, Pierre Pan, Return of I Neverland. Never. Neverland. I mean, Return to Neverland. Sorry for the mess up there. June 4th, 2002. Demo tape of the 2003 VHS of Penguin's Big Movie. I found this at my local volume village. I am not keen. Comment down below if you guys want me to do the opening to this. I need to put tape on this. And yeah, this is no recycle for anything. April 17, 2003. This is my childhood copy. This is the Walt Disney question, question of Pollyanna. I hope to get the 2004 Black Road copies of this. Someday. And this tape is sadly damaged, but still plays at least. April 11, 2002. It's my replacement copy of Pooh's Grand Adventure of Cecil Christopher Robinson. Uh, I got this for 25 cents at resale. This name is not my sucker for anything either. J July 20th, 1997. Princess Diaries. I'm still hoping to find Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement 2004 VHS. I did find it at Savers one time, but the tape was completely damaged and the tape was out of the plastic. And yeah, and the question was in very flat, flat condition. I decided to leave it and I haven't seen it yet. So hopefully, I find a copy at Google when I go on Monday. November 5th, 2001. And once I get that tape, I go try to at least watch this one first before doing the opening to the other copy. And sorry, I'm talking a little fast. I'm trying to hurry this up because I'm at 50 minutes and my back is killing me. Or my neck. So yeah. This is a rare tape. This is the Princess Stories Volume 2. I actually found this at my local thrift store and this tape is actually pretty rare. January 12th, 2005.
It should be sucking for Peter Pan Returns to Neverland. Wish I have a tape right there. Princess of Thieves. I don't know a YouTuber who has a double tape of this. November 21st, 2001. Rascal. This was bought for another trust store, but I actually got this for my for my local trust store. With the savers, so yeah, so it's a different trust store. April 8th, 2003. Oh, there's a huge crack on the, in the clan show. I, I thought that was a hair or something, but it's not. The, uh, the return to Jafar got this for the Google store two years ago. And that Google store completely sucked because there was just basically just basic stuff there. But I did find a little bit of good taste there at least. Um, March 29, 1994. Special edition of Santa Claus. I almost got the 2004 reprint of this, but I didn't get a chance to. I mean, December 6th, 2002. Yeah. Special edition of Sweepy Beauty. August 7th, 2003. Um, I believe this tape is a sucker from the Gold Classic question of the Sword Warrior, if I'm saying it right. But I can't, I still cannot really tell, but that's my biggest guess. And it's a reprint too, so yeah. I got two different copies of Snow Dogs. That's my first copy. I had to stay for over a year now. April 15, 2002. Um, here's my second copy. This is a Wizardry Princess for Goodwill store, but I actually got this from Vegas Stock. Black Rules. December 15, 2004. We didn't reprint it a month before 2005. So, yeah, I do show this in my. I did show this in my 2005 collection. Um, Platinum Edition of Snow White and the Seven Dorps. October 4th, 2001. Just the movie. I still plan to get Leo's just two sticks as a glitch on VHS. Which that tape is actually pretty rare. July 18th, 2003. And just like my uh, special edition is um, Sweepy Beauty, The Chance of Christmas, this tape is also recycled from Pearl Harbor. So yeah, that's my second copy of Sucker for that tape. And it's a two tape it's a two tape boss set too, and I don't have that tape yet, but I did find it at Core Fest today. But I decided not to get it. I've been kinda of avoiding that tape. And it's pretty common, so yeah. Um Sort of the Muckies. I believe this is a nineteen ninety eight or six VHS, but this is a reprint. July 21st, 2001. Uh, this tape is literally recycled from itself. See? Recycled from itself. It's pretty weird. Wonder how that happened. But I found this a Slackers. Tarzan. 
Good one. I used to have this on VHS, but this is my replacement copy. December 17, 1999. I also had the special edition on DVD. I do want to get the special edition from 2005 on VHS. Which that type is very rare. Tarzan and Jane sequel. This one I didn't really like as much as the first one. June 21st, 2002. Um, you can kind of see where this is cycle from, but I cannot tell. So I cannot tell where this is cycle from. Toy Story, a classic one to find. And this type is very common to find in thrift stores. And uh, yeah, this one is also my childhood copy from Grandma's house. Sept September 2nd, 1996. Toy Story 2, everybody's favorite movie. August 13, 2000. The Tigger movie. Black Reels. October 19, 2003. And yes, this thing does have updated previews in it. And I believe I did open to this tape. Yeah, I did. Alright, I got three more to show. Treasure Planet. It is a good movie. At least decent. April 4th, 2003. I can't really tell what type of sucker for me either. Took Everlasting. So I got for the Arcade store back in September. January 30th, 2003. This is the second from Jumping Ship. Which that is a real movie that came out on VHS. And here's my last VHS to show for this video. Winnie the Pooh on Valentine's Day. This is a remake. And also a remake of this specific version. Blue Whip Black Rules. December 22nd, 2003. I have not done the opening to this tape yet. And I believe this one also has updated previews in it. Okay, that will wrap it up for my Disney Quench Show VHS question. See you in the next video.